I get started on this drive, I thought I would try to answer some questions that I always see in the comments about the full self-driving beta and hardware 4. Specifically, how is it running on hardware 4 and that no one thinks that it is available yet. So the current version is 11.4.7 and this version went out to specific testers and those who were early adopters of hardware 4. And the way that you can tell that you have hardware 4 is the camera array. There are two functional cameras and one dummy camera and the array looks quite different than it does on hardware 3. In addition to that, there are these red spots in each of the cameras that would let you know that you had the latest uh, hardware, hardware 4. So this will be my first drive matching the conditions of all of my other tests along the same route. It's been raining here the past few days and really wanted to make sure that I took a test drive when the conditions were identical to, or as close to identical as they could be, to my previous drives. So we'll engage it here. Stopped a little abruptly there, but I also put autopilot on a little bit late. Moves over nicely for this car. Unusual turn signal there. Seemed to notice that a lot um, during places where there's a fork in the road. Uh, even if it's not, the fork isn't in my direction, it still seems to put the turn signal on to signal that it's switching over. We're a lot really far over there. Car got over a little bit late, but I can see the driver coming up the hill probably wonders what the heck's going on here. So spending a little bit more time in the middle of the unmarked road, a little bit more than usual. It was a little bit hard of a break and pretty early. Can't really see anything this way, but proceeds like normal. So far, braking seems where it seems to be gradual until it gets right to the stop line and then it really just hammers on the brake with those last three signs. So we'll see if that behavior continues. Coming up on the left turn here, usually doesn't have too much difficulty with this turn. Sometimes it gets a little skittish, but and oh took that turn a little hard don't usually have any problems on this long stretch of road it seems to do quite well at handling the turns handling the bends uh, even some of the blind cresting over the hill it does a really good job at maybe slowing down a mile or two an hour and continuing on just for safety's sake the things I'm really interested in are some of the problem spots that it's had in the past. Specifically, there is a right turn on my route that it consistently wants to turn before the turn into the side of the road. slowed down well ahead of time, which is what I would have done seeing that those vehicles were slowing down as opposed to hammering on the brakes, so that was good. I also noticed that there were quite a few folks who were saying that the, there were far fewer nags 
I am not experiencing that. My hand is actually resting on the bottom part of the wheel and I'm still seeing nags pop up here and there, so that's interesting as well. Approaching the stop sign, stopping well ahead of where it's capable of seeing anything. Pulling out, and it's clear both ways. Oh, a lot of hedges hesitation there. I am going to take over briefly here to not get stuck behind this truck. Um, don't really want a rock chip or anything like that today. So traffic looks good. If it's going to merge, it usually merges around here. And nope, we're going to ride it all the way to the end again. So not real sure why that's so inconsistent. Um, and it just seems to be that particular merge. Most of the other merges that I make don't really have any issues whatsoever. So it's really bizarre to see that one Sometimes it'll do it, sometimes it won't. And what's also interesting is the version doesn't seem to matter either as I'll do an update and it'll work just fine. And then somewhere out of the blue, several days later, it'll revert back without actually receiving an update. And then a few days after that, without receiving an update, it'll start to work again. So it's just really bizarre. And I know that there are, there's a lot of discussion about the map data that is downloaded at the beginning of each drive. So that may have something to do with it, but it is wildly inconsistent. Next section up here is an exit where it will sometimes take the exit a little too hard and go over the white line. We'll see if that's the case here. And same thing. So not a lot has changed there. Slowing down a good bit for this exit. This is a relatively busy intersection. Makes me, self-driving makes me a little nervous on here sometimes as it can be sometimes a little overly aggressive. Uh, cars coming from the right. It does see them. It's just pulling up a little bit for visibility. And then it's kind of out in the road here, but commits to it. So not, not sure what to feel about that one. I would not have done that, but I can't always rate full self-driving on what I would have done as it's not going to drive exactly like me. So this is the spot where it likes to run me off the road. It looked like it was going to run me off a second ago, but so far, so nope. It's going to take me off the road again. So that behavior also has not changed. Really not seeing a whole lot of differences here between 4.4, 4.6, and 4.7. This merge point doesn't really ever seem to give me any problems, so I don't expect it to do anything other than merge correctly here, and it does. Haven't really figured out what the reasoning is behind the vehicle wanting to cross over the white line on the side of the road in order to make the turn. There's actually another turn that I've run into on my commute that it does the exact same thing and I think that I will take that route now just so I can see if it still does it there. turn signal on nice and early that's a that's a welcome change sometimes it puts the turn signal on just right as it's making the turn clear merge it's 
it's interesting to see the runners on the side of the road be animated as just really fast walkers. Braking for this person walking with their bicycle, but not too hard, which was good. And we're back. This is an alternate route that I've been taking just because there have been so many places where I have to disengage that I'm using it as a benchmark to gauge the improvement of the full self-driving updates. So far, none of the versions have corrected any of the issues that I've had, but here's hoping. This is actually the first time that I will be driving this route. Increase the speed a little bit here. On this straight road, it does a pretty good job always. Uh, there tends to be a lot of vehicles that will stop to make a left or a right turn, and full self-driving beta generally sees them in plenty of time and slows down appropriately. The issues that I do have are coming up after I make this next right turn. Specifically, there is a stop sign that if you're continuing to the right, you don't have to stop at and it always wants to stop there and I don't expect this time to be any different. However, when it is going to make the right turn, it, just like on the other road, wants to turn off, take me off to the side of the road into the shoulder and make the turn from there. So I'm not entirely sure why it does that. Uh, but it has the same problems that it does in the on the other road. So this is the section in question here. I do expect it to try to stop here, but we'll see if it wants to run me off the road, and it does. I just don't understand that behavior. I feel like somewhere it's hard coded in there to you know only cross that line if it absolutely has to. If there's a vehicle in the way or a pedestrian or, or some obstruction, anything, but a clear open road like that just is bizarre to me that it wants to cross over the line. This section coming up here also has been a challenge for full self-driving where it wants to stop I can just apply a little bit of pressure to the accelerator so that it doesn't stop, even though there isn't a visible stop sign. Full self-driving handled that pretty well. Just barely tapping on the brakes, not really overreacting to that person pulling out. And here comes the infamous fork in the road to the left where I expect it's going to want to do something crazy here, so approaching it way too fast. Well, it is slowing down, and nope, it just doesn't want to do it. So, all in all, I, I don't see any improvement, at least on the routes that I take. Now, I don't do a lot of heavy traffic, big city driving. This is all back country roads um, with a mishmash of different types of signs and different types of rules for going one direction or the other. So I don't imagine that this is super high on the priority list as far as making updates to the software, especially considering that version 12 is a complete rewrite. So I would not expect there to be monumental changes to version 11 software as most of that code, I assume, is going to be thrown out in favor of a different approach with version 12. Hopefully that was helpful for those who have 11.4.4 that are a little bit envious that some of the hardware for vehicles have 11.4.7. I would say at this point in time, don't be envious as there really isn't a whole lot of difference between the two.
I appreciate you stopping by the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.